how is in-store payments orchestration actually going to enable these businesses to thrive? First of all, it's about, uh, let's say kind of assuming, first of all, kind of it's really an, uh, an SMB customer. Nowadays, it's no longer about kind of really being, let's say kind of phys physically present, they need to be digitally present. Yeah. So therefore, they need to understand their customers better than ever before because they might kind of come really from their own uh, kind of shopping page. They can come, let's say, kind of inside their store. And back in the days when there was not this choice, you could, as a, as a, as a merchant, understand your customer better because kind of you had a direct relationship. That all, let's say, in this digital times kind of really is, is getting diluted. Let's say what really in-person commerce orchestration brings you is to bring the best of the world from the digital side together with the best of the world for the in-person side. So they can engage, a, they can understand and see their customers across channels and then can play to the strengths of their various channels. Let's say kind of sending them, let's say kind of a loyalty invite that they can then bring into the store and buy there. And let's say kind of also kind of curbside pick up all these kind of tricks that kind of, uh, that also the bigger merchants kind of now offer. It's, it's, it's a democratic Win -win. world now, it's, it's, it's open for everyone. Fascinating. So with that in mind, how, if I could ask the kind of the million dollar question, how is this going to come together and enable the high street to thrive when e-commerce exists? It's, I think it's no longer about high street and it's e-commerce. E it's, again, channels are blurring and you're, whether you're a high street merchant or you're a digital merchant, you need both sides of the coin. Now, because both sides, let's say the physical interaction with your customer is something unique to be able to feel and, and, and kind of interact personally with somebody is different from kind of, let's say, having the choice that you have on, on the internet. So it's no longer for me about, um, about high street commerce and e-commerce. It's, it's a fusion of everything. But as a fusion of everything, you need to be able to understand and see your customers across your channels and also kind of really deliver services on both, uh, on both levels and also play to the strengths of each individual channel. And this is again, let's say, the simple examples of, uh, of buy online and exchange it, for example, in store. You need to be open 24 seven, but it was hard to integrate all this technology, everything that customers and especially younger customers now dearly love, let's say, in an environment that is kind of still, let's say, in the mindset uh, of the old kind of millennium. And this is kind of really where this, this fusion of these channels kind of allow really for a customer to, to kind of directly after he bought online, uh, in store kind of to direct, let's say the, the kind of the payment information with the online information so that you can understand, ah, this is my customer and he bought here, he bought there, and this is his preferences. And therefore you can then also design your services according to the preferences of your customer. Absolutely tremendous. What a weapon in the arsenal of a lot of retailers going forward. Now, how can they tap into that? How can they use AV's technology to really get to that point? A, uh, AV's technology to a certain degree is open to, uh, to, to everyone. So that means, first of all, we want to equip the overall industry. And let's say, especially kind of as, as you focus on SME, SMEs, they get treated or more or less, they get their service from th three sources, from ISVs, from PSPs, that power mostly the infrastructure for them and ultimately about kind of the acquirers who do the overall acquiring. So we enable first of all these players to kind of be faster, be quicker, to kind of be more agile for their SMB customers. So for SMBs, we rather focus, let's say, on the payments value chain delivering to them, empowering them. Bigger customers, let's say, they would tap into us to get this flexibility to, let's say, kind of really select the different players, let's say, that they want to work with and also kind of really, for the first time, consolidate their local operations into one central operations to kind of really bring their e-com channel and their physical channel together. This is kind of when they come directly to us. 